In this video, we will explore the relationship of the slope of parallel and perpendicular lines. If slope is a measure of steepness and one line rises 3 and runs 2, to be parallel, it must also have the same steepness to avoid intersection, rising 3 and running 2. Notice the two slopes are both 3 halves. Both slopes are the same. Parallel lines will always have the same slope. With perpendicular lines, or lines that meet at a right angle, to make them intersect, if one rises 2 and runs 3, to make the intersection happen at a right angle, as a result of the Pythagorean theorem, it turns out we must drop 3 and run 2. Notice our slopes now are 2 thirds and negative 3 halves. Perpendicular lines have what are called opposite reciprocal slopes. This means one is positive and one is negative, and we flip the fraction over. So if one line has a slope of a over b, the perpendicular line will be negative b over a. Knowing these relationships, if we know the slope of two lines, we can identify what type of relationship we have between the lines. In this problem, we are describing two lines. Let's look at each individually. The first line goes through the points 5, 2, and 7, 5. Let's find the slope of this line, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Using our first and second points, plugging in our values, the slope becomes y2, or 5, minus y1, or 2, over x2, which is 7, minus x1, which is 5. Subtracting will give us the slope 3 halves. Let's consider the second line to see how it compares. The second line goes through the points negative 2, 6, and 0, negative 3. We will find the slope by doing again y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 is negative 3 minus x1, which is negative 6, over x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is negative 2. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive, and so we find our slope is 3 halves. Notice the two slopes we found, 3 halves and 3 halves, are the same. Lines that have the same slope are parallel to each other. Let's try another example where we investigate this relationship again. In this next problem, we will again consider each line individually. Let's find the slope of the first line using the formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So our slope is y2, or 3, minus 1, over x2, which is negative 1, minus negative 4. Subtracting a negative is like adding a positive, and so we get the slope, 3 minus 1 is 2, over 3. The slope of the first line is 2 thirds. We will see how it compares to the second line that goes through 2, negative 1, and 6, negative 7. Using the slope formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, let's plug in our values and see what we find. y2 is negative 7, minus x1, which is negative 1, over x2, which is 6, minus x1, which is 2. Subtracting a negative is like adding a positive, and we get negative 6 fourths, which reduces to negative 2 thirds. I'm sorry, negative 3 halves, if I reduce right, dividing by 2. Notice 1 is positive, 1 is negative, and the fractions have been flipped. We have opposite reciprocal slopes. These lines are perpendicular.